All right, what is up, you beautiful people? And welcome back to Stronghold Synergy, baby. We are playing some Alarak today. Wait, why did I just put that? That's two. Okay, we have uh, Brawl Modifiers. We have a little hybrid container. We have Synergy, so we all spawn at the same time. Um, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna try and just get some Havocs out here and, like, maybe be frontline as Alarak. Stronghold is one of my favorite modifiers. We got a huge base being built up as we push forward. Uh, oh no, we got Haunted Horner on our team. No judgment. Um, no judgment, but also like, oh man, that might be a little interesting. Actually, if I buff Haunted Horner with some some Havoc, things could be a little bit better here. Oh my god. So yeah, I love I love Stronghold because it's just like units are just constantly being built. It's like you're just oh Artanis. Artanis might need some vanguards in a bit uh, to show them up here. But yeah. <clears throat> oh my god. Ding ding. Donk, donk. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get that tier 2 ASAP, and I'm trying to probably get like a bunch of Havocs. Get some squad sight, and then just be support for my team. Um, that being said, who's my last guy here? Who this? Phoenix. Is he tier 2 yet? He's tier 2, right? I hope he's tier 2. Um, and there's an enemy. Oh. Ooh. It's going to be tough. Actually, against enemy Alarak, I think if I if I have Wrathwalker and we have Daimless Vikings, we should be in a pretty good spot. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna power level. Let's get that, and then and then we can power level up here. Pop, 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 pop. Well, we're gonna be behind in the early game for a little bit because we just got Phoenix. Phoenix costs 900, so not gonna panic or anything. Doesn't really matter. Like the first little bit of income at the end of the day. Pa 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 pa. Han is just gonna destroy him here. Um, the Haka is gonna be a little bit tough to deal with, but that's okay. It is what it is. Oh yeah, I've started to, like being more focused uh, on my lifting now. Um, even though you know I don't have as much time, but I think that actually helps me prioritize um, just lifting for power rather than lifting for reps. And I think lifting for power is actually the way forward if I really want to get bigger and stronger like I've been benching more and like a actively like increasing the weight because I'm pretty sure like I haven't really benched before so I'm basically just like on like newbie weight so what that means is I have a lot of room to like gain a lot of uh, muscle really quickly and I have noticed like I am getting muscle uh, I'm getting stronger each time by a little bit you know uh, and that's good so yeah um, and I'm noticing like Trying to get some more gains on my pecs, you know, because uh, right now I, I'm like, yo, I need I need bigger boobies, boobies confirmed. Need bigger boobies confirmed. Anyways, I'm gonna get the detect weakness here. Um, well, you know what? Pop that over here. There we go. And I really want to get the squad side here. Havocs. Ooh, havocs kind of being off to the side though. It's a little bad, but it does like I don't know. It does kind of help. Okay, enemy Alarak is on his T3. Alright, he just said, I'm not going to buy anything, just going to go straight to tier 3. No upgrades, no whatever. To be fair, Havocs and Reapers together are a nasty combo. I just need them to stick together. Uh, ooh, but the Psy Storm. And then we're just going to get brutalized here by the detection. Uh, I don't think I want to put out a Vanguard because it's just going to get eaten. So I think I will put out... I'll put out a Wrathwalker in the back. Pew! Pew! I think Phoenix here is just holding his own with his little phase disruptor. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Ooh, we got Wraiths coming out here. Oh, that's actually a great synergy here. Wraiths with Havocs are really good together. Just Wraiths lacking range. Havocs giving them the range that they need. Boom, big blast. Phoenix just going to clean it up here with his 11 range. The Immortal is just a uh, shield battery. Damn, that shield battery is pretty good. It ran out though. I'm out. Feels no more shield battery. And hopefully the Wraiths can get some extra range here. Oh, no, they have to move too close. Depression, and then he's just getting stunned. And, and my Havocs are getting Psy Storm. That's a big feels bad man. Uh, what am I going to do here? 
Hmm. Hmm. Eh, we don't have to panic. I mean, Immortals with extra range is pretty nasty. Uh, okay, my boy. Okay, he died. Uh, this thing's cost 562. So we're not going to update, update, upgrade that anytime soon. Which means I should just go Blood Shard Resonance. This will increase the range of everything we have across the field. So these rates will finally be able to shoot from far away. And I think that is just the more important thing. Having the Havocs like help us like have that extended fire range is key. Because it also keeps the Havocs nice and safe. Uh, and also keeps our, lets our DPS start doing DPS much, much earlier. Uh, I need rapid power cycling ASAP. Don't tell me. Oh no, no, he's got, he's got a, he's got one of these. Um, but you can see here the longer range here uh, on the burst lasers is making the rates pretty good. Seven range rates actually makes them like battle cruisers now. Okay, that gets eaten. Rapid power cycling. I need it right now because without rapid power cycling, it's like actually a big meme. They're scanning to destroy our havocs. I'm pretty sure because like literally. Oh no, I mean no, they're just scanning for the rates. Lamau. But the Havocs are like a plus on the side of like another unit that you destroy. Um, simply because they are there. There we go. Boom. Uh-oh. Pew. Pew. Oh my god, rapid power cycling feels bad, man. That's okay. Uh-huh. Alarak's gonna go down real quick. We got Deimos Vikings coming up in here. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Deimos Vikings with the slow-mo. Uh-huh. Just kind of overcharge this thing. Get it to blast the enemy Wrathwalker team. Pew, pew, pew. Why is it blasting the structures? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My boy Alarak knocking them to safety. Sovereign BC with extra range, though. Sovereign BC... Sovereign BC is still edible. Good to know. That you can still eat the Sovereign BC. Hunter and Horner basically just got hard nerfed. BC was removed, everything cost more. Nice meme. Hey, you guys noticed that the frame rates got smoother? That's the sign that the video I was rendering for Saturday just got finished. Um, I'm sorry guys, I have to be efficient, you know? If I'm not efficient, like, I can't get stuff done. <laughs> uh, anyways. Oh, well, it's still a little bit of lag, but not as much. I'm only 20% of the team here, because granted I haven't been killing anything. It's mostly been Alarak and stuff. Uh, doing stuff. I mean, my Havocs have been increasing how much damage we've been putting out across the board. There we go. Can you imagine if Havocs like, could fly like observers? That would make them so busted. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. Come on, Havocs. Oh my god. Like, hands down, Havoc's probably one of the best support units in terms of in, in synergy. Oh no, but uh, I, the enemy Alarak just went Wrathwalkers first, and I think that's just better right now. Uh, oh wait, no, 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 Taldarn with the extra range! Taldarn with the extra range! Oh my god, yo, we need Mass Talkers as fodder or something. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. Maybe I'll get supplicants because Alarak doesn't take bonus. Um, there we go. Yeah, I think we're just lacking front line here. I got some nuggies here. Uh, oh man, that's not a lot. Mass stalker. Like I think I have to I have to balance between getting some back and some front. Because the Haka can just uh or, or like Artanis can just spam front line here. I gotta play Karak's next round. Karak's is always fun. Uh, but yeah, as long as Taldarn's alive, man, like oh my god. You'll wreck it. Boom 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 boom. Bom, 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 bom. I mean, enemy Alarak doesn't stay alive for too long. So, yeah. Okay, I can overcharge this thing here. Get out. Tech Lab. Yo, get him, Tech Lab. Show him what's up. There we go. 
Okay, okay, they're doing a big push here. Uh -huh. And with that money bequeathed to me, I will send out some guys here. Okay, so these guys with extra range is gonna be pretty, pretty uh, gnarly here. Because they are just gonna bombard. Bombard them. Hit them with the bombard them. Boom! Extra range Taldarin. Oh, we got some Tempest coming out here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Aerial tracking is probably not what I want to get, but I think I might have to get it. Uh-huh. Kaldarin. Boom. I guess Tempest just hand, just like, destroy me handedly. Uh, I think we need Han and Horner on the Tempest here. Yeah, Han and Horner can take care of Tempest. I'm not getting aerial tracking. That's a bait right now. Because uh, aerial tracking will prevent um, and my wrath poppers will start focusing like these locusts, which is like huge amounts of damage lost. Versus right now we're still we're still good here. Uh. Oh, a hilarious thing that I, I I learned about German is unemployed just is literally just lost work, work lost. It's like big L, common L baby. Whereas English is like, I'm just not employed, not in the state of employment. In German is like, you've lost your job. Lamau. Arbeitslos. I think it's Arbeitslos. Arbeitslos. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways. I think Damos Vikings, oh, but Damos Vikings cannot, they cannot challenge um, Wrathwalkers that are backed up by Tempest though. That is the only problem. Okay, so for every Wrathwalker, I gotta get two Nuggies. Why are Nuggies so expensive? To be fair, if I filled my board with Nuggies, Alarak would be almost impossible to kill. He would be as thick as um, the Haka here. You know what I need? I need some Vanguards. I need I need some Vanguards, because like, those Immortals are actually kind of... Okay! Invisibility, baby! Double scan. The weapon upgrades here. Oh my god. But yeah, Taldaran's AoE is great, but I gotta help him out. Uh, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Wrathwalkers are doing a great job at shredding the big targets. Okay, I think I need my vanguards to come up almost like at the very end of the fight. Oh my god. But they have so much more range on us. It's insane. Uh, we're not gonna go invisible here. We're gonna take so much damage. And the, oh wait, now my video finished rendering. I was like, wait, the frame rate is even smoother now. I guess I, I guess I got over a hump. <laughs> hump. Um. Anyways, I'm gonna go pew 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 pew. Well, now I lied. The first time I said it was done rendering, that was a lie. Now it's really done rendering. We got some Colossi here. Okay, he's sending us some hybrid. We gotta respond. Um, let's send out one of these vanguards here. I want my vanguards to definitely have matter dispersion, but I also want fusion mortars. Uh huh. Sovereign BC just gonna get hammered here. Boom! 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 Boom, 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 boom. Where's my vanguard? Oh, he's over there. A little crab walk. Okay, he's been knocked back. That's good. Oh no, he got destroyed. He got absolutely omega destroyed. Omega blasted. Okay, we gotta get the assembly in here. I think I can get some war prisms actually. Because I, I don't know if this guy. I think this guy has aerial tracking, right? Let's see if I can see him uh, shooting at the aliens. Do he has aerial tracking? Oh my god. Let's see. Bam, 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 bam. Because my Wrath Rockers are not helping on the fight against the Tempest. Um, which, maybe I am wrong to do so. Okay. Okay, Alarak here just taking a ton of hits there. Ton of hits. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, you know what? Aerial tracking. Let's go. Blast them down. We're done here. Yeah, I think if I had them help out for aerial tracking, things would have been much faster. Okay. Things would have been much faster if I had them help, help, help out aerial tracking. I'm not getting aerial tracking. Just a little bit of a mistake. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Running out of targets to hit. Okay. Oh my god, the Vanguard doing so much damage to these map blockers here. Uh, like, Vanguard's pretty, like, like, they can hard counter a clump of Wrath blockers. Provided that, uh, they're all bunched and stuff. So I, I think I need to get another Vanguard, actually. Um, more Vanguards. Got the Protective Barrier from Phoenix. That's very helpful. Help us survive quite a lot of hits that way. Is this guy not in, um, his, oh, he's in his Dragoon form again, okay. I was, okay. We got, um, Warbringer with his long, long range. Chrono Beam. I don't really have an answer to Phoenixes, I will be honest with you. Um, I think that's up to, not me, that's up to Han Hornet. But the protective field here is going to be humongous. God, look at all those demons down there, boys. Just crush them. Run them over, baby. Run them over. Boom. The only problem is, I guess my vanguards never survive until late. You know, like, they just get obliterated. Uh, Warbringer here. What are defensive upgrades? Never have I ever heard of defensive upgrade. Alarak with the knockback. Alright, maybe I should turn that off. Should I? I don't know. I feel like I should. Anyways, Alarak could uh, contribute with some more nuggets here. I think I'm gonna put some more nuggets that are front loaded, because like if if he if he dies before the nuggets get close, then like you know it's over. Okay, so this guy's got some stalkers now as well. Um, well, now it's just an, now it's just a long range battle, and they are all stacking. We need like galleons or something that manufactures reapers. That could be hilarious. Warbringer here. Doing some splash, doing some clinking. Um, carriers are not a really a good choice here. So we're kind of out of options. Just a little bit out of options. Oh my god. Are they going to hit this guy? Yeah, they are. Oh, man. Alarak just healing. He's eating them nuggets, boys. Oh no, Haldarin going down. The Wrathwalker snowball. I should have started Wrathwalkers instead. Uh -huh. I should have just went full Wrathwalkers. Screw the Havocs, boys. But I'm, I'm fighting against Tempest. Uh, Mass stalkers would work a lot better, I think. Okay, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it, boys. Uh, they're only 195. Actually, yeah, they're only 195. Actually, yeah, nuggies cost quite a lot. Uh, I don't have phasing armor though, so without phasing armor, they're kind of useless. Uh, oh baby! Oh my God! All right, we got one last lease on life here. No, no, no! Yeah, you know what? Actually, each of those nuggies, if they were mass, if they were stalkers, maybe they would have actually done better. I don't know. I think yeah, because I guess because uh, Alarak is always locked on, so he's gonna keep taking damage. Yeah, I didn't trust in the Mass Stalker. I did not trust in it. Damage output, 122. Oof. Feels Han and Horner, man. Feels Han and Horner. Phoenix, you're dealing tons of damage, though. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, I, I think Mass Stalker would have probably ended up being better. I thought that Nuggies would have been okay, too. But I guess I was wrong, and that's okay.
you know, sometimes we're wrong. Because to be fair, the Stalker takes one hit. And if it gets hit again by like the Wrathwalker 5,000 5, attack power blast, it like doesn't take any more damage. So yeah. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this game, be sure to leave a like. And until next time, I will see you guys later. In the rear with the gear. F*** the tires. Let's light some fires. Need a light. They picked the wrong fight.